Hi, welcome to the Xylem Virtual Training Series. I'm David Stover, Technical Training Manager for Xylem Industrial Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about Optimize. Now, Optimize is the condition monitoring device that we use for monitoring our pump and motor operation. With this, we can monitor both the vibration and we can monitor the temperature of both the pump and the motor. Now, you'll find optimized information at xylem.com. And if you go to xylem.com, you'll find your product brochure and you'll find the installation and operation manual for optimize. Simply go to the search bar at xylem.com and type in optimize and you can, you'll get access to all the literature for the product. So when you get the optimize, it's going to come in, it's going to look in a box like this. And when we open this up, we've got our installation instructions. We have our optimized unit. And then there's also comes with a little wrench that we use to take the top off. So we can take this top off and replace the batteries in this whenever it comes time to replace the battery on the unit. We'll also see inside of this a small silver disc. Now this is a magnet. And this magnet is what we'll use to energize and get the optimize started. So we want to mount our optimize unit to our pump. First thing that we're going to see whenever we get it out of the box is there's these metal discs on the back. Now these are to protect the magnets on the bottom of the, the unit. The optimize is magnetically mounted to the pump. So if we want to monitor our pump vibration, we're going to take this and we're going to mount it right here. And it's going to monitor vibration in three axes. So it's going to monitor side to side, up and down, and front to back. If we want to monitor our motor, we can add a second optimized unit to the side of the motor. Now you'll notice on the pump here and on the motor there's a sticker. It says reserved for optimized. This is the best place to mount the optimized unit for both the pump and the motor. So we put these on here and then the next thing we'll need to do, we're going to turn on our optimized unit. So we'll use this little magnet that came with it in the box and we're going to set this right here and we'll see that it brings it on and starts the unit. And now we see it flashing. Now it is searching for the app. Now the app is what we use to control this and to read the monitoring of it and get all the readings that comes out of it. So now that we have our optimized unit mounted on our pump and our motor, the next thing that we need to do is download the optimized app. The app is what we use to monitor all the output from the optimized unit, the vibration and the temperature monitoring. So we go to the Apple iOS store and you go in there and do a search for optimize. And from there, we can download the app and we'll see the app right here. And we click on this app and this is going to open up. It's going to give me an opportunity to put in either a QR code or a manual entry. Now, one thing to note is we activated our unit. Now we've got to get it set for programming. So we take our little magnet and we're going to hold it back over our light right here. And we're going to give this a minute and it's going to change color and start flashing a purple. And this will be it ready to program. Once we get our purple light, now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to go QR code, scan. It's going to go in and get my reading. It's scanning my device, my optimized unit. Located the device. Now we want it to pair. Now it gives us our date of installation. Sensor placed on. Now we can put in the type of asset or the pump that this is, is in here. So we're going to tell it this is our pump. You see we have a dial here that we can do different things. Let's set it on different types of apparatuses. We're going to do a pump. Click done. We've got sensor placed on. We've got an NDE bearing. That's the, next to the discharge. And then we've got suction side bearings. We have motor bearings or other. We're going to click on other for this application because this is the pump frame. Now we have vibration standard. We've got ISO or ANSI HI. We're going to pick ANSI HI is our type of vibration monitoring. Then we're going to go to pump type. 
And then we're going to say a vertical inline pump because we're mounting this on the ESV. Now our ESV is a vertical inline multi-stage pump. So we're going to save that. We've got our size. This is less than 200 kilowatts or 270 horsepower. We've got our sampling frequency five times per minute. We'll leave it at that. And then it gives us our vibration measures. Our axial is our x-axis, our horizontal is our y-axis, and our radial is our z-axis. We can We've got this, and now we want to add our asset. Now we can come up to the top, we can give it a pump name. Depending on where you're using this, if this is in a, a, a pressure facility, like a water treatment plant, or if this was in a commercial or an industrial facility, you might be in a particular part of the building where it's at, so you could put it, what it is there. So for today, I'm just going to put on ESV, because this is our ESV unit. And then we have our date of manufacture. That's the day that we're putting this in into location. Then we have select our asset location. Okay. We're going to put this as the lab. We can add an image. So with this, I can go into my camera and we put an image of our pump that this is going to go in the record. We have a pump model number. We can scroll through, find our ESVs. And then we're going to if we have a QR code on our pump, we can scan that and add that to our unit. So we're going to save all of our information. So now that we've got our optimized programmed in, we'll see our unit right here. And if I tap on it, we'll see that it opens up. Okay? So it's already synchronized data, but the pump hasn't been running. So we want to turn the pump on and let it, and we'll do a forced synchronize. It'll download the data of the optimized unit as it's picking it up on the pump while the pump runs. So let's come over to our pump here and let's open our line, our discharge valve a little bit. And when we turn the pump on, we'll see here that our pump begins to go and we're pumping water. Now at this point I can tap on my unit And down at the bottom, we'll see it says force read. So I'm going to force it to do a download from the optimized unit. And what it's doing now is it's measuring the vibration in the three axes, side to side, front to back, and up and down. At the same time, it's also taking a temperature reading. Now the temperature on the, the pump itself is going to be relatively cool because there's no bearings or nothing in there generating heat. So we're doing a forced read and we'll get all of our information. We got a successful read. So now we can see here that if I go down through here, we'll see that I've got temperature. It's got a temperature reading of 78, 72.8 degrees Fahrenheit. My axial vibration, 0 0.002 inches per second of vibration. My horizontal vibration, this is 0 0.0024. And then my radial is .0043. And then finally it gives me my battery condition at 100% because it's a brand new unit. Now I can come to each one of these readings that I've got here and it will give us a reading over time. Okay, now this is a brand new unit so we don't have much time in here on this to be looking at for a history. Same way with my vibration. And we'll see my vibration is holding steady all the way across. Now we can do kurtosis and this gives us a reading over time. And then the FFT gives us an analysis of the reading and it shows us in vibration ranges 
what it's been doing over time. And we'll get the same thing on each one of our axes. But right now, everything's running nice and smooth. We got a nice solid line. And again, it's because it's, re it's real new. Now, what will happen with this is the unit will take a reading five times a minute, and this will record it over a period of time. It'll record it every day as long as this, this unit is running, and it'll build a history and a chart. And so you can come by here with your smartphone, and simply walking up to the unit, it will download this information, download the data for you, and then you can go in and take a look at it. With this, you can monitor your unit and start to take a history of it, and you can see whenever a problem is starting to occur. We found that if you go in and you start looking at this and you see vibration, we see vibration in, in our unit here that starts to occur, and it starts to climb over time, then we'll notice that something's going wrong. And then we can prepare to make the repair for the pump instead of waiting till it breaks down and we're shut down in our system. This is the purpose of the optimized unit condition monitoring. Thank you for watching our video today. If you have any additional needs for the product or information on the product, go to xylem.com and enter the information that you're looking for in the search bar.